Awesome. Hello and welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for Gemini. I'm Julia Mijas. And I'm Jamie Kale Miller. Well, hey, Gemini. You know, um, Saturn is traveling along through your 10th house, and this is like a two and a half year journey. It started last year and will continue through this year and probably into 2025, at least a little bit. And so um, there's just been a lot of pressure on you to build authority, to be, um, you know, uh, that excellent expert in your career and to and to really bring some focus and that's kind of a challenge while Saturn is in Pisces. Your uh, your 10th house of career is governed by Pisces. And uh, and Saturn brings a very different vibe because Pisces is kind of loosey-goosey and um, dreamy and like, oh, I could do this and I could do that. And I could do, you know, imagining all that you could do. But Saturn's presence in your 10th house is demanding that you actually make good on some of those, you know, fantasies of what you could do. So um, doing something this month that contributes to your long-term goals would be super satisfying and help you move forward. Um, and, uh, and I also wanna let you know that as was happening last month, uh, continuing into this month, Jupiter is helping to support that Saturn from his position in your 12th house where Jupiter loves to be. And that's because Jupiter is traditionally the ruler of the 12th house. And uh, and Jupiter tends to bring um, uh, the sort of luck that feels like it's just in the air that you're breathing. It's the feeling that you're just kind of surrounded by benevolent, you know, unseen forces uh, bringing you help that you just didn't even know was coming. And so... Um, so Jupiter is really helping Saturn along, and this is one of the last months in which he's going to do so. So I would take advantage of that if I were you and just keep your eyes open for the opportunities that might be a little less obvious. The last thing I want to say about career for you is that Vesta is traveling along through your first house. Vesta is an asteroid goddess of focus, and she has uh, been retrograde for several months, making it hard for you to focus. Uh, while traveling through your own sign, but she's going to go direct on February 8th and that you should be able to focus better after that. So something to look forward to. Hey, Julia, what's up with money and uh, and relationships for the Geminis out there? Well, let's start with money, Gemini, because we've got some Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde uh, vibes going on for you this month. And I'll tell you who's who. Dr. Jekyll is definitely that series in Capricorn in the eighth house because he just wants to invest carefully and in a very restrained way and be very practical about everything and kind of see some slow, steady growth. Whereas the Mr. Hyde in your chart right now is that Venus and Aquarius in the ninth house. Uh, she just wants to spend lavish go on some crazy unexpected travel vacation or maybe just take on some new educational course that costs a lot of money and is being a little bit impulsive about it so you know who who's going to prevail this month that's all up to you and your free will but you're definitely having those opposing forces going on and a new moon and the moon is important because it rules your second house of money is happening in that ninth house near venus um new moons are new beginnings new projects so this could either be be a burst of spending uh, either on education or travel or an opportunity to set a new tone when it comes to finance. Uh, again, all that's up to you, Gemini. And then when it comes to relationships, um, you know, your, your ruler, that ruler of self, Mercury, is going to be conjoining Pluto the first week of the month. So there might be some secrets happening. Maybe you're exchanging secrets with somebody. Maybe you find out some secrets that other people have been talking about with you. But this is definitely going to impact the relationships, I think, this month for you. And then Venus, the relationship planet. She's in your eighth house of intimacy until February 15th. So when Venus is in the eighth house, it is a time of developing deeper intimacy with somebody, psychological intimacy, sexual intimacy, sharing more money. Maybe you're opening up a new credit card with your with your loved one. Um, so it's a time of, of just depth in your relationships, I'd say. We also have that Juno retrograde in the fourth house. So if you're currently in a long-term relationship, you could be having a relationship 
relationship review in all matters relating to your home. Should you and your partner move in together? Should you have a family together? What type of domestic partner do you need? And what types of tweaks do you need to get there? And if you're single, you could be thinking about all of this in terms of your next relationship too. Well, that's all we have for you today. And if you enjoyed this Coruscope, please, please do hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Find our site at PandoraAstrology.com to get a reading with one of us, and find us on Patreon for workshops and classes. And we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye-bye.